Hello everybody, welcome back to the growing season of Frontier Fields. We're here in Carrollton, Missouri. We have a special episode today with a special guest and we're gonna go out to the trial field and walk around and look at how everything is going out there. Hey everyone, uh, Caleb Walters here, Belmont, Wisconsin. Looking at some fields today with Frontier Fields and uh, meeting with our retailer Shane from United and gonna go check out our power coat trial. So we had a power coat trial this year with Mosaic. Uh, we applied that with our strip till rig before planting mid-April. Put that corn in on the 30th of April and just kind of been watching it here. We're gonna keep monitoring it and see what the combine says at the end. So the product we are trying this year is Biopath. We have uh, gone out and taken some tissues in the, in the trial um, there a couple weeks ago and we were gonna pull pull some more today, but uh, we have seen some uh, some good responses uh, so far and, and hoping to kind of see that trend uh, progress. Don't like to make too many decisions off one, but uh, the first uh, tissues that we pulled uh, showed uh, some uh, very positive responses within the trial versus outside the trial. Yeah, I'm Shane Johnson with United Cooperative, uh, an agronomist with United. Always pushing Caleb to try uh, try new things. I've been talking about PowerCo for a couple of years, and it took somebody else to talk you into yeah, talk you into trying some. <laughs> this spring we started with the strip till. Um, we did our power coat trial here. Uh, we're standing in the middle of one of the passes. We did 40 foot strips. So on either side of this is a control pass um, without any power coat. And then when we planted, we did uh, some two by two. We had nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, boron, moly, and zinc in the two by two. We Y dropped with some nitrogen, sulfur, boron, moly again. Last night we got maybe three inches over here of rain. So hopefully that was enough to get it all washed in and into the root zone. Yeah. Plants seem pretty happy. We're seeing a little bit of striping, but you know, it could be sulfur or manganese deficiency. You know, getting the two and a half inches of rain last night and getting that washed down into the soil profile, get it into the root zone for the plant to take up. I'm assuming this is gonna look totally different in a week from now. All the striping will probably be gone because you give it a healthy shot of pretty much everything. We started trial and power coat three years ago. Where we've seen the successes with it, we've seen a pretty steady three to seven bushel return on it. Our attraction to why we even started trialing it was the return on fertilizer investment. The input itself is paid for just on the extra fertilizer that's showing up in tissue tests and that's getting into the plant. Um, so any yield that comes on after that is is uh, is all money in the bank. Using products like power coat to bring more fertilizer into the plant is a big deal trying to get the bolts bang for your buck with our fertilizer investment. We're here with our special guest, Brooks Reed. Hey, Frontier Fields uh, viewers, watchers out there. Welcome back. Brooks, we haven't talked much, but uh, as far as like our planter setup and such, but we do not have um, info side by side. We don't have starter on the planter. And so when we try like these biological products and stuff, we're kind of limited to how it is, is applied. And so this year in talking with the, the agronomists and the people at Mosaic, we decided that we would just mix it with our pre-emerge chemicals, spray it on when we planted. You know, we're excited to see, I guess, kind of see that's how well that works versus maybe something that you did. Looking at the, the corn stalk, it's gonna be, how green is it? Is, are we seeing any striping? Are we seeing diseases? So for, we're fortunate not to, not to have any of that showing up yet. One of the things to, to look at is, you know, the, the movement of nutrients into the plant come through the roots. This area right in here, this is where all the nutrients have got to go. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the sugars, and especially talking about a hot, hot, dry weather. Yep. The, uh, well, that corn plant's just trying to survive tomorrow. And so it's going to put back to the roots, sure. feed the biology, feed, and that, that uh, water movement, nutrient movement is going to be going up and down, up and down, up and down through here. So what do you see here? Is this is this look looking healthy, or is the browning of it kind of showing some that early stress levels? Or you know, we're experiencing a little bit of uh, uh, of, of clogging here, and that's that's when the the brace roots will then you know offset and offset. And we're not excessive 
um, stressed at this point. Yeah. But that's one of the things that if you start to see these higher brace roots, it could be a wind event. It could yeah. also trigger some yeah. of that kind of stuff. But it's, uh, that's one thing to, uh, to look at. A few takeaways from today. Crop looks pretty good. Uh, thankful for the rain we got overnight. Hopefully we can wash in all that nutrition we put out there. Come harvest, we're really looking forward to uh, you know what the combine tells us. You know, if there's any yield gain from this from this trial, and you know, hoping hoping we can see some ROI from it. I'm excited about seeing with all the tissue sampling you'll do between now and between now and tassel. Um, if we're if we're getting some increased uh, increased micros and macros into the plant as a result of it. Well, Brooks, uh, thanks for walking through the corn with me and uh, very good talks. I learned uh, learned a lot, like I normally do talking to other farmers, in the, especially in the area. Um, I just saw a um, um, healthy plant. Um, it's grown good. We're, we're still in the, you know, in, in the growth stage. We're about to um, tassel and hopefully get to pollination here in the next uh, week to 10 days. It's very important to have a healthy plant going into those, those phases. Thanks for, uh, you know, having having us out and, and walking the field and showing, uh, showing us what you got going on out there. Cause myself included, I, I enjoy um, that space, walking out in another grower's field and interacting and seeing what they got going on. Uh, you know, be a student of the crop, some, some healthy, healthy, happy corn. All right, folks, uh, appreciate you joining us today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And next time you'll see me, I'll be in the field, hopefully harvesting some crop and, and hopefully we can learn some things then. Get out and try some some biologicals. Uh, reach out to your reach out to your local retailer. See what they're recommending, what they're using, what's working. A lot of technology coming with it. It's going to bring us a lot of bushels. Make sure you guys keep up with our monthly updates on FrontierFields.com. Hey, want to give all those viewers out there a shout out. To, if you've uh, if you've missed us, uh, season one farmers, go back and uh, check out the uh, the the, ear the earlier work. Be sure to like and subscribe. Crop Nutrition on YouTube.